Today I am fixing damage done by rabbits and possibly squirrels to this kind of bush. People call it the fire bush. This one has new growth on it in the spring. What the rabbits did was cause this damage. This damage on this in particular bush will not kill it. It will actually survive that. It only dies if they chew the bark all around it. If they just chew it off half, it's probably going to survive. I just cut down a bunch. I still have more that need to be cut. They turn this yellowish color in the spring. They are dead. And if you look at the buds, they're all dried up. It's almost seasoned. But to show how they heal, this was done one year ago to this bush. You can see it's almost completely healed up. They can repair themselves. And just because one of them gets chewed and it kills it, like this one here, I had to cut completely down because everything was dead on it. But there's some small buds way down on the bottom below where they chewed it. So this bush will grow back. And because it has the powerful root system to support this one inch diameter trunk, this will probably grow possibly three feet tall once again this year, but instead of one stock, it'll have a bunch coming off of it. For example, this big stock here, even though it survived, it had damage done to it years ago. You see all the small ones that came off of it? That's what happened. And in the front, I just cut down a bunch of them. Few, a few did survive, but a whole bunch of new growth will fill in these empty spots by the end of the year. These here we use for privacy. They are about eight feet tall each. And when they grow in, they really do block. But you see the difference. This one has no buds on it at all. Also, this one has no buds on it. But there's buds here. So down at the ground, this one is dead. You see there's a little bud there, so I'll cut it right above the growth for it can continue to grow. And there are ways to prevent this from happening in the first place. You can put down repellent, chemical, or natural, such as fox pee, that'll keep the rabbits away. You can also put chicken wire around it for they can't get to the trunks to bite it off. Okay, this one here, because the bark's not chewed all the way around, will survive. That I just showed has growth up top. This one and this one are dead. This one was lucky and survived for this year. Now that the grass in the yard is turning green, the rabbits will not harm these anymore. This is because this past winter in New England, it was below 10 degrees for seven days and below 20 degrees for over a month. That is why they went to this. Everything was frozen. This is all they had for food. The rabbits had to do this to survive. Next winter, because this winter was so cold, probably won't be as cold. So this probably won't happen two years in a row. It does happen every year, but minimal damage. This year was bad. This one, at least this one survived. There won't be a big hole here. But this big gap, I can actually walk in between my bushes now. That will be filled in within the month. It is early spring. These are going to be growing fast. This one here was too big for my clippers to cut. This is actually a maple tree. They still chewed it. This one, for some reason, there aren't any buds on it, so I'm just killing it off. I'm bored. That's why I'm burning it out. This little bush here, that's actually a little pine tree. That actually got a trim. They didn't really kill it, tape like shaped it like a bush. And I have a pine tree here. They actually pruned it for me. They ate all the small branches. I just neatened it up with the clippers, but there's nice growth that show up above. You see it has these nice new buds. It'll probably grow another foot this year. This is a different kind of bush with these leaves. I planted this years ago intentionally. I just wanted a different kind of bush. I saved this from being cut down in a different part of the yard. 
They don't chew that one for some reason. Up, oh, I just spotted another dead one. Right here. You can see there's already new growth at the base. Okay, that will grow back. And actually they grow back stronger usually. When, when they first grow they have smooth bark. When they grow back they have this bark with these edges on it. I don't know if those edges help deter the rabbits. It looks like it because they don't have much damage. It's the same idea as with thorn bushes. Thorn bushes will not have thorns if nothing is eating them. But if something starts chewing on it or they keep getting trimmed, they will grow longer thorns and more of them to protect themselves. That's how it works. And actually, I see more damage recently done by these rabbits. Look at the tips of these hostas. Those were chewed. And uh, to show even more damage done by them, Look at the tops of these tulips, they were chewed, but that was done like a week ago. Since it's been raining, the grass is greening up. I think it's over. I do not see any more yellow. I think I got the most of the dead trees. Well, most of the big ones anyways. Mm, this one's dead. You can see it did survive last year, but the rabbits chewed the opposite side this year. Couldn't survive it. See where I'm cutting it? That is because I see growth there. I'm going to continue to look for these. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. I will leave a link in the description for the thing you can buy to deter it. The Fox P can be bought at any hunting or hardware store. Any store like Lowe's or Home Depot will sell the chemical compound, which I tried this year. It did deter them, but if, if, it's, if you get snowfall on top of the pellets, it blocks the scent and it will not deter them. Actually, here's a good example of what happens. This is year one. Last year, they chewed this. You can see it's healing. By the end of this season, that'll probably be closed up.